What's up everyone, it's Jay, and because it's a new year, of course, that means a new convention season. And since, you know, everyone's getting ready to go to their conventions for this year, including myself, I thought it'd be really fun for me to do. I don't know if you guys know uh, the tag that's really popular among beauty gurus. It's called the what's in my bag tag. But in this case, we're switching it up and I'm doing what's in my convention bag tag. I actually got this idea from this YouTuber, so if you wanna go check her out, Go check her out. So let's see what's in my convention bag. So first of all, here's my bag. Um, I used to do like a really bulky book bag, but honestly, that just like encourages me to like take my whole life with me around to the convention, which seems like a good idea at first, but you'll get tired really easily. But yeah, so it's usually just like a nice little cutish kind of bag like this. As for what's in it, um, of course, water. Water, 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 okay guys? Water, water. You will get thirsty at these conventions and I know a lot of people like juice and soda and stuff like that and that's okay to have but I think if you're dehydrated, water is what you should be drinking and you won't regret it because people tend to hike up water because they know it's really valuable. So bring your own bottled water, bring a couple bottles, not too many because there should be like water fountains, you can fill them up and you don't want your bag to be really heavy, but definitely bring water, you'll need it. Second is snacks. <laughs> I love how I'm like healthy, water, water healthy, and then I bring out a bag of cookies. Um, not just snacks, but like food, maybe like sandwiches you made yourself at home. Um, I feel like when you're at a con, you definitely get really, really hungry, but you know, sometimes if you stop, Frequently for like big meals, you're gonna miss some of the you know panels that you want to go to So if you just have some snacks to snack on um, Now of course I'm terrible. So I have Nutter Butters and Chips Ahoy chewy chunk cookies But you know things like carrots uh, like I said before sandwiches and stuff like that and the double whammy is not only do you have something to like you know snack on during panels and stuff but you won't be wasting all that money at like convenience stores and stuff like that and instead you can waste it in the dealer's room see I do this for you. Next is my wallet, duh. Um, yeah, just keep your, bring your wallet. It has your ID, it has money, it has your credit card. It's a nice way to make sure all that stuff is just in one place because you're gonna need it. Next is a convention guy, duh. Now, you know, since this is the future, this is the 21st century, y'all, a lot of the conventions are actually switching to making their convention guides online apps, which is very helpful because if they have any changes to the schedule, they can up date that so definitely download that but I always like to just keep a hard copy because first of all I actually don't have a smartphone yeah guys I'm from the stone age I'm a hundred years old but secondly it's just really nice just to highlight things and like mark them down and stuff like that and take notes on what panel you want to go to and stuff next I bring my makeup case, uh, cosplayers, y'all know, y'all know how this is. But even if you're not cosplaying, if you wear makeup, if you don't, then just skip this step. I don't know, I don't know what you wanna do with your life. But it's, uh, you know, I just bring like a basic makeup case. Uh, it just like has like a butt brush, blotting sheets, powder, like chapstick, maybe lipstick if I'm wearing it, just like regular stuff. Maybe even eyeliner if I wanna touch up my makeup to look good for all the hot cosplayers. Guys, I don't next is something that I really wanted to talk about and that is bringing business cards now a lot of people think that business cards you know if you have business cards you're either filling yourself way too much or you know you work in some kind of professional light maybe you're a professional cosplayer maybe you're an artist or whatever but honestly I feel like anyone who plans on doing anything at the con should take business cards I mean if you think about it business cards at the bare minimum they're just a way for people to know where to find you whether that's through email, whether that's through your Tumblr, your Twitter, and like it can work in a lot of different facets. Say, for example, you take a picture of somebody in the hallway. They're gonna be looking for that picture after the con, so if you give them a business card that has like your Tumblr or your Facebook, wherever you upload your pictures, you can just slip them one and then they'll know where to look. Or vice versa, if somebody's taking a picture of you, you can slip them your business card so they know where to send it. Also, if you're somebody who likes to film a lot of things while you're at conventions, say you film somebody's panel or their skit at a masquerade, or maybe their walk-on cosplay just to let them know where they can find that footage you can give them a business card or say 
you meet like, you know, somebody who's nice and friendly at the con, but you're not like 100% comfortable with giving out your phone number, you can slip them a business card with your Tumblr and all that good stuff and they can find you eventually. So yeah, definitely, you know, they don't have to be super fancy. Mine are definitely not super fancy. This is just like regular... I mean, I think it's cardstock or whatever, but yeah, I just printed some up, um, got my friend to make this cool logo for me, and so like when I do interviews or when I do con coverage, I just slip them to people, and then they know where to find that footage. Next up, I have my camera. When you go to a convention, I don't care what you're there for, you're gonna freaking wanna bring a camera, like no matter what you do. Um, actually, this is my old camera. This is actually the camera I use, but I'm using it right now, so I can't show you. But yeah, make sure you have this camera, and of course, if your camera takes batteries, make sure to bring batteries. If it has a charger, make sure to bring that too. You don't wanna be the one whose camera's dead because you forgot to bring the thing that powers it. Um, I actually don't have any cameras. Well, this camera uses batteries, but I, like I said, I don't really use this camera anymore. But I also bring batteries for any type of electronics that need one. For example, I have this thing called a task cam it's a digital audio recorder and I use that for when I do interviews or if I need to capture you know good sound at any of the panels I film or whatever so that uses batteries so I make sure to just bring a pack of those and of course if you have a camera you're gonna need an SD card so make sure you bring your SD card I make sure to always bring a couple and then I also bring my laptop so I can do like unloading at the end of every con day also once again this is kind of dependent on what kind of camera you have but any type of stabilizer or tripod I usually bring along with me because like I said I do like interviews with people a lot so like I need if I don't have a cameraman with me, I need some way to like keep the camera up or even like a stabilizer so it's not very shaky if I have a cameraman and I need somebody to hold it for me. Yeah, but yeah, that's about it. It's empty in here. For what I bring in my convention bag, what about you guys? What do you like to bring with you when you go down on the convention floor? Did you have like the same things in your bag as me or do you have like kind of different things depending, you know, maybe you're a cosplayer, maybe you're an artist, so you take different things. Let's get the discussion started in the comment section and before I go, just want to let you guys know that I'm actually, for the first time, everyone, silence, I'm going to Katsukon. I'm gonna be at KatsuCon 2015. I'm super excited to see all the wonderful cosplay and all that stuff. So if you are coming, you can say hi. Since KatsuCon falls around Valentine's Day, I'll actually be handing out Valentine's. So if you see me and you want some and you want some candy, come say hi and I'll give you some. So that's it for me and see you guys next time. Bye. No. Please,